All right, hello everybody. Welcome to our AP Lit Spring Meeting. I am Miss Sheaf and I am Miss Angel Diaz. All right, so we're going to talk you through some things that you need to know uh, before summer starts and before we all meet you in the fall. Um, and before anything, uh, just take note in the email that we sent everybody, um, there is the code to join our summer AP Lit Google Classroom. We have all the AP Lit sections join that one Google Classroom and the code is in the email. And then we also have our information on how to join our Remind 101. So uh, be sure to join both of those. Um, and then there's time sensitive things on the uh, Google Classroom for you to check out. And we're going to walk you through all the items that you will find in our Google Classroom. So um, we want to make sure that you review all of these documents before the last day of school so that you can contact us with any questions that you might have. So by 528, um, please make sure that you have reviewed the material that's here and you have um, sent us an electronic signature um, by 528. This is for both you and your parents. Um, Taking an AP class is a choice, and uh, we want to make sure that you are fully aware of what you're signing up for. Um, we're going to start off with that contract. Um, if you open it up, you will see down at the bottom, after you read all the information on attendance and grading and homework, there's nothing shocking, but, you know, read over it. Um, down at the bottom, you will see that there is a spot for you to open up a form that will allow you to um, sign up that you have read the information and both your parent and you need to sign it and hit submit. And that will let us know that you are confirming this all sounds good to you. All right, and the next thing you'll see in Google Classroom is our letter to you. And um, whereas the first document that Miss Angel Diaz just showed um, is about you know, the class is like a honors or AP class. This one is really specific to our curriculum and AP Lit. And um, it talks about the summer work broadly. Um, and so this one, there's no form attached to it, but uh, if you read it, you'll get a lot more insight into what this class is going to involve. The next um, link that you'll find in Google Classroom is it's the one that has the meat, everything you need to know about the summer work and when things are due. So this is the one that you're going to reference a lot over the summer. And um, certainly you may have questions that you want to send us a text about or an email about. So you'll notice that it says to please read these in order. And there's a reason for that. They build on one another. So you need one to do the next. And you need that one to do the next. So make sure you do them in order. Uh, it also builds. The first thing is um, short and easy. Uh, it is a passage from a larger book called Sophie's World. The passage is called Two Cultures. And we've attached a link for you that has both the entire book in case you want to read it. You have some spare time. But also just so you can have access to the passage that we are requiring you to read. For this, we want you to annotate, take some notes, but um, the only points that will be assigned for this will be during a seminar the first week of school. So we will not be collecting notes for this. They're just for you, okay? The next thing is um, you will read four books from the Bible, Genesis, Exodus, Matthew, and Luke. And we have you read these because a lot of the references in Western literature come from two places, mythology and the Bible. And while we cover mythology in school, for some of you, you may be unfamiliar with the Bible. So we don't want you to be at a disadvantage when you get these references in passages or texts that are on the AP exam and certainly ones that are in our class. Um, and so we will be able to have deeper discussions based on the fact that you will have some context based on these stories for the illusions that you will see in books later like Jane Eyre and Beloved. There is a deadline for these. Um, they are due by 1 p.m. on uh, July 2nd, so they're midsummer assignments. We're trying to keep everything spread out so you don't feel so burdened at the end, at the end of summer trying to get all your work in. Um, 
If you click on this link, you will see that we've provided you with look fors to help you as you read. These are things that we believe are important that you should note as you're reading. And we have also provided a template for your Bible notes. You want to use this template. So make yourself a copy of it. And this is where you're going to record all of your notes. You will see that there's a section for Genesis, one for Exodus, one for Matthew, one for Luke. It's pretty self-explanatory. However, if you have questions, definitely send us an email or text us through Remind. Nice. So the final piece of the summer homework is the biggest one. And this is reading the novel Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And we have a link to a PDF of the novel, um, but it's definitely helpful to have a hard copy if you're not into reading PDFs. Um, and then uh, along with that, we have a little thing that says enclosed handouts. And this is definitely good to check out, especially if you want to know um, more about the author, like before you read. Um, I don't think there's any spoilers, maybe, maybe Miss Angel Diaz um, on there. It has information about Charlotte Bronte and the book and just like general information that's good to know as you read. Um, it also has look fors, just like we had for the Bible. So things that we want you to focus on as you're reading Jane Eyre. The assignment for this summer reading um, are quote notes. And if you have done quote notes before, that's great. If not, we've provided a little document called DHS Quote Notes for Lit, and I recommend checking it out, even if you've done quote notes before. Um, so you'll be doing 40 quote notes from the novel. Um, so these are uh, quotes and small passages that you're picking out from throughout the entire book. Um, and use the look for us to guide you and then use our document there to help out. And those notes are due printed out hard copy, those 40 quote notes, they're due on the first day of school when you come and we all meet each other for the first time. Um, and then as it says here, so that what you can expect when you come to school, you know, you've read this passage from Sophie's World, you've read these four books of the Bible and taken notes and you've read Jane Eyre and you've done 40 quote notes. So when you come to school, and you have all that under your belt, um, we jump in with a lot of discussion um, and it, it says interactions with and between the texts um, that you have actively read. So we're like kind of hitting the ground running and um, we have that suggestion number five, if time remains, we suggest you read one of the books from the frequently tested AP books. Um, we've given you plenty to work with, but again, if you if you have some extra time and you want to do some extra reading, um, it's great to just read more. It's always a good thing. And don't forget, I know you're going to feel like you're on your own this summer doing everything, but we are here to help. So if you need help, even in the summer, um, you can send us a, an email. And we've included our emails at the bottom here, but better than that, even a text, because we can respond immediately to any questions that you have. And we don't want you to feel like kind of lost or overwhelmed when we can help you by just simply giving you some guidance, providing you a good direction for how to do it or what, you know, which way to go. So please feel free to reach out to us. So underneath this summer assignments, we have just kind of linked in here and you'll see them separate in Google Classroom. The Bible Look Force are here, Jane Eyre is here, and the quote notes are here. This is the meat of the summer work. These are the things that you are gonna need to be able to complete and turn stuff in that we will be grading, right, four points. So um, it's just doubled up here for you. Nice, and then the next thing, um, we like to provide you all with a list of the books that we're going to read this year with the information like the ISBN number. Um, the reason for that is a lot of students choose to get their own copies of the books um, rather than use the school copies because you can write in the books, annotate them. Um, you'll see kind of as we move through the year, um, there are a couple that um, oh, from the on, on Google Classroom, you'll see um, so in Google Classroom, you'll see this list as well. And we recommend, uh, if you would like to, um, checking it out and picking up your own copies when we get to these units. And then finally, um, obviously this year's 
learning experience is very different than past years. So um, we didn't think it would be very helpful to get feedback from this year. Um, in fact, we had to alter our class quite a bit for distance learning as many teachers did. But a while ago, we asked our students to give some feedback to future AP students on what would be most helpful for them to understand if they wanted to take the class. And we found it very helpful ourselves and a little surprising in places. So uh, the, we get the homework question all the time. So you can see here how much homework per night. And on average, it's a really um, between 30 and 60 um, with a few students saying maybe it takes a little bit longer for them. So um, everybody that we have, I mean, it's pretty high numbers for zero to 30 as well. So also the homework is pretty much made up of reading. That's it um, for the most part. So one, I'm going to give you three, you can read through this. Look, at there's a ton of stuff here, but I'm going to give you the three highlights that I thought were really helpful. One is take advantage of seminar. A seminar is not a place in AP Lit where you get to argue with each other. We are developing ideas and growing from each other's, each other's thoughts and ideas in seminar. So you should never sit quiet in a seminar. Do not be afraid to offer up your opinion because it makes all of us stronger. That's a really important thing for AP Lit. The other thing that they say is do, don't procrastinate that we do not give busy work. Everything that you do for AP Lit is helpful, both for the class and the discussions that we're gonna have and for the test. Um, procrastinating to the last minute is never a good thing when it's not a simple, easy fix, right? Um, and that's where people run into some problems. And then I'm trying to remember, Ms. Sheaf, what was the last one, do you remember? Ooh, we definitely, well, we noticed on the forum that students said you actually have to read the books, which uh, made us laugh a little bit, but that came up a lot. So you really can't get by just reading a summary or spark notes or whatever you may be tempted to do. All of our students feel that you got to actually read to really get the most out of the class, to do well in the class and to enjoy all the discussions that we have. And also, Ms. Sheaf and I are really good at figuring out who didn't read. <laughs> <True>. <laughs> so um, this concludes our uh, spring meeting. And just want to direct you back to the deadline that you have, 528, to review this material and make sure that you do the AP contract um, and make sure you share this information with your parents as well. Uh, the next deadline that you have will be midsummer, uh, July 2nd, your Bible notes are due, and then your information for Jane Eyre will be due the first day of class. So those are your, your deadlines. Um, we really look forward to having you in AP Lit with us next year. Normally we do these in person and you can feel our enthusiasm and it's harder to be you know, enthusiastic on Zoom. So just know that we love teaching this class and we love, um, we love you guys. So we're really excited to get to know you. Yes, thank you. And again, please remind chat us or email us with any questions. We are here. Thank you guys so much.